Right then, welcome to day three of Prague. Um, just about to get into the shower and then head down towards breakfast. It's half 9 a.m. I've woke up a little bit late, but it's all good. Uh, we've got about an hour till breakfast shuts. So, yeah, let's get in the shower then, head down there, see what we can find again. And um, yeah, then we'll come back up and make a decision on what we're gonna do for today. Right then, um, just finished up my breakfast, completely forgot to vlog it. It's been an awful start today, I won't lie. I've woke up to, um, not too late, but a bit later than usual. I forgot to vlog the breakfast. And um, the cleaners in, like, normally the cleaners outside, like, ready to clean the room around this time. And she's not even on the floor, I don't think, so. And my room needs doing. It hasn't been done in, like, three days, so. It's not the best start. But we're going to switch it around. We're going to turn this around. We should head down to reception now and we're gonna find out more information about how to get to the zoo from here. And yeah, let's do it. So I've had a um, <clears throat> absolute mare. I've just come out of the room as I was filming that little thing. And um, I've locked myself out of my room. You know, this trip with key cards has just been horrendous. I mean, <clears throat> I've had to replace it four times. <clears throat> I've had to replace it four times. And now I've just locked myself out of my room. I just can't be asked. Like, I literally can't be asked. Like, I, they're going to hate me. They're going to hate me. And there's no cleaners, there's no one here. And I need a key card to get down the other here. So, this day is just, it's, it's really not started well, is it? Quick update, the cleaner has saved me. Thank God for this cleaner. She is literally here today. So just all of the taxi from the hotel it should be here in like five minutes. Thank God for that. Thank God for that cleaner, honestly. I'd be so fuming if I had to go down there and get another card after all that. So just waiting for the taxi drive, should be here in about five minutes. And yeah, we'll get going. Just going to Prague Zoo, please. Perfect. Cheers. Have a good one, man. So then we've made it to Prague Zoo. And yeah, ten pound taxi, not too bad. And yeah, we're here. It's not the best day for it, I won't lie, but we're here. We're gonna make the most of it. That's the main thing. So let's try to get inside. Um, you have to pay for a map, so I have no idea where I am. Um, but we're going to wing it. And I'll kind of just show you the best bits, I guess. And kind of if I get lost or I find anything, if I eat or anything like that, I'll make sure to show you. But until then, I'm just going to wander around and see what I can see. Because I'm absolutely no clue where I'm going. All because I didn't have one coin. I don't carry cash. Wish I did now. So I'm in the birdhouse and I'm shitting myself. I used to have budgies, yeah? And that's fine, but look. Look how many of them are in here, like. Oh God. I went like this zoo is absolutely massive. Like, look at the size of it. Fuck you know.
the one bad thing I've noticed is like the big cats, like they're just going like left to right. Does not look good. Like just looks so unhappy in that cage. Obviously, I'm also trying to find a restaurant. I'm so hungry, but the cuisine here is literally Indian. I swear, like everywhere I go, it's just Indian food. Just want some like chicken or something, you know? Yeah, we'll see what we can find. I mean, as you just seen there with the polar bears, <clears throat> you know, he's just doing circles, you know, going round and round. It's sad, really. I mean, these animals are so used to roaming the world free and traveling miles for miles, and now they're just stuck in an enclosure. So sad. I'll tell you what, though. This is definitely the best zoo I've ever been to. It is absolutely massive. I'll quickly get a fact up on how big it is because it is huge. So for reference, London Zoo is 36 acres and I believe this zoo is 140 acres. So uh, yeah, it's literally under this and it goes all the way up around there, all the way around the back. So yeah, it's quite a big, big place. Definitely a good day out if you're ever in Prague. So I was just about to get on the, like the ski, it's like a ski lift, but it's just got a seat, like a, one little seat, and it goes down to the bottom of the zoo, goes up to the top and down to the bottom. I was gonna go on that, it'd be a nice shot, good for the vlog. And um, my car just doesn't work on their contactless machine, so I've had to bend that off and I've got to trek all the way back down. Very sad. So I've had an absolute mare again. Um, just went to the restaurant and got some food, as you've seen. And you're meant to pull your own pint. And um, I went to pull it and foamed it completely. It went fucking everywhere. And then the server had to actually come and pull it for me. So it's just been dis uh, demasculated uh, even more. Which is always good. And then also I bought a sandwich. Um, it said it was ham and cheese. So I was like, oh, it's plain ham and cheese. You know, I don't like mayo, so it will be all right. Nah, it's not, because it's got, I don't know what that is. It's a waste of more money. I've got a shitty sandwich I've now got to throw in the bin. What a waste. Disappointed with whoever made that menu on the board. Yeah. Right then, so we're out of there now. That was really good to be fair. That's the best zoo I've ever been to in my life. Now we're just heading towards Botanical Gardens. Uh, they're in the same area, so like Trotska. So we're gonna head there, see what's going on. And then after we've done that, we'll head back and attempt to get home. Well, to the hotel. It's gonna be interesting and we have to get a bus. I don't know where buses go, so. Get ready for that one before then, Botanical Gardens. Right then, so we're inside. I won't lie to you, I have no idea what I'm doing here. I'm in a garden. I'm, I'm literally in a garden centre. I've come to a garden centre, I have no idea what I'm doing. I'm not like this. You know, I just think stuff, right? Why not? You know, while I'm here, apparently it's meant to be like one of the main things to do, like around this area anyway. So I'm in a cave now. But, but yeah. So I thought, why not? Yeah, let's come in here. Let's see what's going on. Yeah. If anything interesting happens, or I see anything interesting, I'll let you know. I 
I've just kind of caught on to what this experience is like. I just remembered. This is like the Eden Project. I won't even lie to you as well. I'm not even a fan of butterflies. But they absolutely freak me out. Anything that flies like that, like moths or anything, proper freak me out. So I've just realized they're literally everywhere. So get ready for me to like run in a minute through here because I'm shitting myself. To be fair, right, this is quite sick actually. This is where they all grow. And I don't know the word for this, but and that is real. I've never actually seen this before. Look, you can see the ones that are growing out a bit. Holy shit, I just shit myself. That is so scary. Please stop flying. But yeah, I need to get out of it. Cause I, oh my God, oh my God. I'm not even joking, I'm so terrified. But yeah, cool. Literally, there's loads of them. Look. There's loads of them over there as well. Oh my God, something just dropped me. Oh my God, oh my God, oh my God, oh my God. I'm not even joking, I'm fucking terrified in here. I need to get out. Like I've just jumped out of my skin because a, a raindrop dropped on me. I'm not even joking. I'm, so scared, I hope you realise. This is like a phobia for me. This and moths and bees and wasps. Trust me, it's, oh, I'm, sh I'm literally shaking, honestly. This is worse than anything, honestly. Right then, so I'm finally out of there. That was terrifying. Now, I'm not actually too sure what you can do here. I'm not sure whether that's it, or whether there's more. Um, all I know is I've been in the Eden Project in Prague. That's about it. So, um just done some research online and it turns out that that place is actually a lot bigger than what I've shown you and there's like beautiful gardens that go all the way around the back and stuff and the pictures look insane I'll try and insert a few pictures for you so if you're looking forward to seeing that I'm sorry because I've I've left and you know I looked around I did I looked around and I could not find where those pictures were literally I just I I went up some stairs and it blocked off and then there was a massive gate. So I don't know whether they've, I'm trying to think whether it's been blocked off. Like that's the only explanation I can give it is that it's been blocked off. It, I don't know why, but yeah, because there was loads of gates surrounding everything. Everything was surrounded by gates. And I was like, well, that's a bit weird. And I searched at the pictures and then it came up with what I seen. And I was like, well, you know, where is that? You know, I looked around, but I couldn't really find it. So a bit of a disappointment, I won't lie, but. Here's what it is. If, if we're ever back here one time, I'll try and try and claim redemption on this place and show you what that's like. Cause it did look really good as you've seen by the pictures. Hopefully, Metalian's good. All right, I'm gonna make an attempt now to try it back. Um, apparently, I need to get on the 112 bus back towards the centre of Prague. And um, yeah, so we're gonna go back to the zoo. Uh, Cause that's where the bus stop is. I'm gonna get try find the 112 and hope we don't get lost. This is gonna be interesting. Central Europe, anywhere in Europe, let me know if that is true. That it is free because I've not seen anyone pay or anything. Anyway, we're off now. Head back to the hotel. That was so easy. I didn't get lost at all. Yeah, like I said, I'm just looking at Google Maps now. Head back to the hotel. I'm literally right by it as well. It's class. So, yeah, see you back then. Right then, guys. Been back at the hotel for a little while now. Just been chilling, getting ready for the first uploaded YouTube video, which you've probably already watched. So we're probably, well, I mean, I'm on day three vlogging and the first vlog has come out. So yeah, exciting times. First one of many, hopefully. Um, but before we get into talking about that sort of stuff, I'm running a little bit late. 
Um, I've got to be at the boat place for seven. It's coming up to six o'clock. It's take about 35 minutes and I need to be there like 15 minutes before to check in and whatnot. So we're running a bit late, so let's get going. Let's head out and let's have this dinner on the glass cruise. Right, so we're at the hotel. Turn left on Jekna, then in 70 yards. Turn right on the Towards the boat place now. Um, it's an absolutely lovely evening for it, I won't lie. Blue skies and like earlier on, it was great, so should be nice. Keep you updated on the way. So I just come out of the glass boat. It was absolutely incredible. Um, I just want to stand here quickly and just explain kind of where I've just been and what I've done. So I didn't record much again. I don't really like recording in a restaurant, so I didn't really record. But <laughs> went to there, had dinner. It was absolutely incredible. We were on there for like four hours. Um, but the most amazing thing happened, which is the best thing that happens every time you go traveling, which is you meet new people and people from different places of the world and you just combine, you combine ideas um, and you just speak about life. And that's no different to this situation, you know. I've come here on my own, you know, I sat down on the table and I'll just, I'll paint the scene basically. So I sat down on the table, I wasn't thinking much of it. You know, a lot of people don't speak English, so I didn't really think much. I just sat down, but the table was quite close together. We were on there for a long time. So Julian next to me, if you're watching this, you're a legend. Um, your beautiful girlfriend who's giving birth in July. Both of you are unbelievable. Um, you know, we just got chatting. Um, he's from America, he lives in Arizona, but they're both originally from South America. And yeah, just like incredible, like she had a massive chat about life and everything, literally everything about our lives. You know, we shared so many different you know, experiences with each other and just enlightened each other of each other's lives. And yeah, it's just absolutely incredible. Like. It's what makes traveling so good to be honest like getting to like meet new people and just especially people like that you know so nice you know such nice people they've also said that if i ever go to arizona to stay with them even though they're having a baby so legends i will be taking you up on that offer just to let you know but yeah it just makes me so happy when i see like these sort of situations that i'll play because you know i'm not the most confident person in public situations like i won't I kind of just speak when I've spoken to in this sense because at the end of the day, you know, they're having a nice dinner together in this example. And I don't really want to interrupt their, like, dinner. You know, I don't really want to interrupt them. So I just sat there and just did my own thing, really, because, like I said, I didn't really want to interrupt them. But, you know, he spoke to me and I thought, well, you know, as soon as someone speaks to me, I'll then get speaking. But I don't really like interrupting people and their days and stuff. I just like letting them do their own thing and I just do my own thing. But... In this case, it was different. I'm so glad that he said something because, like I said, they're just the most amazing people that I've ever met. And it just it makes me so grateful to be here. And, um, you know, like just thinking, like, if I, did, if I didn't do that, like, if I didn't do the glass boat, I would never have met them, you know? So all these things and all these decisions that I make, you know, coming here and, you know, I was meant to go Poland, you know, coming here instead of going Poland sort of thing, you know? I would never have met them, you know? I'd never have done the experience I've done here, you know? So... So yeah, I just want to give a shout out to Julian and your wife, Jolith. I think that's how you say your name. I'm sorry if I butchered it. I'm very sorry. But yeah, shout out to both of you. And I just want to say that I am definitely taking up the offer of staying in Arizona. 100%. I will be there at some point. So with all that being said, I'm just going to head back to the hotel now. Um, I haven't actually looked at my Google Maps in a while, so I'm probably lost, but... Should head back to the hotel now it's about 10 p.m i need to do some editing but not only that i'm up at 6 a.m because tomorrow we're in germany so watch this space this vlog's about to get heated up another level so yeah 
I'll see you back at the hotel and we'll go for a quick overview and uh, what's to come. Right, I almost forgot to do an outro then, um, but when I was editing, I got reminded that I needed to do one. Um, as you see, we're back in the hotel now anyway. What an experience, what a day, you know. I, I personally feel like every time I go away by myself, it takes like two days of adjustment and then I literally feel like I'm at home. Like, it just... It just feels natural to me. I know all the roads, I know the routes, I know the public transport, I know the bus, I know the trams, all the rest of it, I know the restaurants and everything. After two days, you know, it, that's all it takes and I just know it. Um, I just feel, you know, blessed to be honest because obviously the experience I've just had, especially on the on the glass bow and, you know, everything that's happened today, you know, just what an experience. I just, you know, there's no words for it really. I'm not going to ramble on too much though because... I do need to get into bed at some point. I need to edit this vlog, but not only that, but I need to be ready to wake up tomorrow at about 6-ish a.m., ready to go on the the tour bus or whatever is going to come collect me and head into Germany. So, um, yeah, I better get some sleep so we can wake up for that because, you know, you can imagine the disappointment if I didn't wake up. Fingers crossed. But, yeah, other than that, I will leave you be. Let you enjoy your evenings. Thank you so much for watching the vlog as always. Please make sure to like and subscribe, share the video. Please, please, please share the video. Turn the notifications on, all that jazz. And yeah, I'll see you tomorrow in Germany for day four.